All right, awesome. So thanks again, guys, for coming to this for our first event. And sorry for the apologies for starting late, but we're going to start right now. Um, before we start off, though, Future Bays would like to show their um, respects and acknowledge and um, for the traditional custodians of this land of elders past and present on which this event takes place on. So, hey guys, welcome to Future Bayswater's first event. Um, my name's Connor, and I'll be representing just some of the young people's point of views from for Bayswater Shire. Um, first off, I'd like to give my, I guess, vision for Future Bayswater. Now, as a young person who has grown up in the area, and as well as a university student who visits Bayswater Town Centre and, um, and train station frequently to travel to other locations such as uni, I often think about the future of this place. Now, I'd like to briefly talk about my visions and hopes for the Bayswater Town Centre as a young person. I think all of us can agree for one thing that Bayswater, and I guess Perth, is going through some rapid changes. The most obvious is the growing population and the understanding that we need to find places and spaces where people want to live, work and play. So when speaking to many other young people around my age who either visit Bayswater Town Centre or live around the area, we all agree that a modern change is needed to make our local town centre a more activated, exciting and inviting place for people of all ages, where there's a mix of things to do and where young people are welcome. Bayswater is a place with some good facilities and has a close community. I know for sure some of us love coming here to have a grab a coffee, it's all having a burger from Wood Burger over there, but it is the heart of our town. But I think we all agree that it could be something even better. I mean, wouldn't it be great to have a better choice of housing, a place that is buzzing with activities like restaurants and shops and places where people of all generations can mix and enjoy each other's company? From this to happen, I think we need to work together, think more broadly about what is good for all members of the community and how to create a truly amazing place for all. You know, I also hope that we can make a place lively for our future residents. As a young person, I'm thinking all, all the time about, you know, if I'm going to get a job, after my job, where am I going to stay, and things like that. And, you know, after, you know, after my degree and after getting a job, perhaps even having a family. I'm sure many of us think about a place where we want our children to stay, grow up and raise their own families. And I know a lot of us think about the area around Bayswater Town Centre as being the place we would want our children to have their future and where this could happen. So we can continue to enjoy living in this area where we grew up in. So I hope everyone here can get a vision from, I guess, my perspective as a young person about to think about the future of Bayswater, which myself and many other young people who visit the town centre and live in or around the area hope for a positive change for the future of this place. Together, I think we can really make this happen. So, as you can probably tell, right now we're actually live streaming the event on Facebook. So if you guys have a chance, you can guys and hop onto the Future Bayswater page on Facebook. Share the event, share the page, and let others know that we're actually live streaming, so then you can join in with the conversation online on Facebook. I'd first like to thank the VIPs, Michael Sutherland, MLA from Mount Lawley, Councillor Stephanie Coates, Deputy Mayor of City of Bayswater, as well as Councillor for Westwood, Michelle Sutherland, City of Bayswater, Apologies from Tim Hammond, the new federal member for Perth. Also apologies from Lisa Baker, MLA, for her absence, who asked that we pass on her wholehearted support for Future Bayswater's work and the speaker series. Apologies from uh, Councillor Barry McKenna, Mayor of the City of Bayswater. Apologies from Councillor Brett Fleeton and the Councillor Sally Palmer, City of Bayswater, and Councillor Dan Bull. We thank all the above for their support for Future Bayswater and its vision. I would now like to introduce Paul Shanahan, the spokesperson for Future Bayswater, to talk briefly about who we are and our vision for the Bayswater Town Centre. I'll give you all this. Oh. Yeah. And this. And this as well. I think you put this on. Put it in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There you go. And this as well. Back here. So what do I do with that? Put it in your back pocket. That should be all right. Okay, can you hear me down the back? Okay. Now, if Connor's uh, the young person, I'm clearly not, but uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about Future Bayswater, who we are and what we stand for. Before we do that, I'd like to add to Connor's welcome. You know, when you put something on like this, you take a bit of a punt and it's a bit unknowable 
what's going to happen, but to say that we're uh, overwhelmed with the response is an understatement. So thank you very much for coming tonight. Um, so who is Future Bayswater and what are we about? In terms of personnel, we are all Bayswater locals. Many of us have lived in this area for many decades and some are second generation residents. Our membership comprises a wide range of occupations and expertise from architects to town planners to urban designers, community relations experts, placemakers, uh, local business owners, health experts, educators, practitioners of the arts, students and coolest of all we even have a fireman and he's coming really handy actually, we've had a few fires to put out along the way. Um, and many of us are also parents, and I guess this is where the future part comes in, because we're all very passionate about two things, like you. We're passionate about the area we live in, and most of all, we're passionate about our ch children and their future. And one question that increasingly occupies our thoughts these days is, you know, where are our children going to live, and more on that later. Now, we certainly don't think we have a mortgage on passion. Most of you are here tonight because you have a passion for this area that you live in. But a big part of our passion is driven not only by what Bayswater Town Centre is, but what it could be. We look at our town centre and we see unrealised potential. We see a place that is good, that, but could be better. We see vast opportunity, opportunity to revitalise the town centre with quality design and development. Opportunity to create an economically sustainable town centre with thriving businesses. An opportunity to help meet the housing target, targets that accompany a rapidly growing population, but also meets those targets in an environmentally sensitive way and also addresses the traffic issues that are only going to become more challenging in this city. We have seen an opportunity to increase foot traffic in our town centre with all the health benefits that that entails, as well as increasing the passive surveillance and safety there. But perhaps most of all, we see an opportunity to create a diversity of affordable housing that our children will be able to access in the future so that they can continue to live locally near their parents and friends. In short, we want Bayswater to become a go-to destination where locals are able to play, play and spend locally. And we want to promote a vision for the town centre that looks decades ahead, not one political cycle ahead, whether it be at a local, state or federal level. So how do we achieve this? I said before that our group certainly doesn't have a mortgage on passion, and we certainly don't have a mortgage on expertise, although we have a bit. We feel that this community needs to have a really good conversation about what makes a great town centre. And that's actually what this speaker series is all about. We're really lucky to have these three speakers that we have tonight. Their research and expertise will bring different perspectives to this question. What we hope that these and the other speakers in this series stimulate will be that conversation and also stimulate the community interest and passion that is needed to influence the key decision makers and help make this vision happen. The last thing I'd like to say about our group is that we are volunteers who have spent the last seven months using our spare time and our own money advocating for our town centre with whom we'll ever will listen. So you'll notice that uh, at the front we have a box which uh, gives you an opportunity. Oh, there it is over there. Thank you, Michelle. And this is an opportunity for you to support us in our future endeavours. And I can guarantee you any donations that you give us will be used to advocate for your town centre. Um, can I also encourage you to register for the three speakers series events that we have planned in August and September. We have three more. Um, this can be done online through our website, but there are also forms that you can fill in to register tonight. Um, we're planning on having these in the Heritage Room at the Bayswater Hotel, but looking at tonight's uh, turnout, we're wondering if that's going to be big enough. So RSVPs are really crucial for us. We need to know how many people are coming. If we need a bigger venue, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get that. Um, and to be guaranteed a spot, you really need to be a, sub a subscriber to Future Bayswater, and you can actually do that on our website, or you can fill in some forms at the front. So enough from me, it's time to hear from our far more interesting speakers, but I really want to thank you for coming tonight. It's really exciting for us to see so many people here who are as passionate as us about the Town Centre. Thank you very much. So I'd like to introduce our first guest speaker for the night. Our first speaker is Julian Boletta. Julian is a Bayswater resident and assistant professor at the Australian Urban Design Research at the University of Western Australia. His role there includes teaching a master's program in urban design and conducting urban design research and design projects. 
Julian has practiced as a landscape architect in Australia and the Middle East on a, and, and on a diverse range of projects. In 2009, he completed a PhD that quickly surveyed landscape architectural practice in Dubai and advanced scenarios for Dubai's proposed public space system. He is the author of several published books, including the award-winning Take Me to the River, and he also co-authored Maine Australia, The Future of Australian Cities. Tonight, Julian will set the big picture scene on the impact of 21st century population growth in Australian cities, and Perth in particular, as well as Bayswater's potential role in this bigger picture. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dr. Julian